What's up guys? This is Every Day with B and J. I'm Brianna. I'm Justin. Um, today we're going to be talking to y'all about affirmations and manifestation. Um, y'all may have heard of this like in you know movies and documentaries and stuff on Netflix lately. Um, but we just wanted to take the time to kind of like speak to y'all more in depth about it and you know try to get y'all to understand more because I feel like a lot of the stuff out there right now isn't very deep and it kind of like scratches the surface and doesn't really teach you like it's just all jumbled up yeah, it's just all kind of jumbled up and yeah it doesn't really teach you a lot it just kind of throws it in your face and it kind of expects you to just run with it and figure it out on your own so I also feel like everybody just like thinks manifestation yeah. or if I just manifestation or if I just speak it into existence or think it or you know there's so much more than just like one thing there's there's a lot yeah um, yeah, so we're just going to jump into that and, you know, people always ask like, you know, what are affirmations? Like, what is that? Um, basically, an affirmation is just, you know, it's affirming something. It's just words that affirm how you feel. Uh, it affirms, you know, something going on in your life. You know, when you're sick, or if you have an upset stomach, you know, you tell your boyfriend, girlfriend, your mom, whoever you're with, like, what do you say? You say, like, I am sick. You know, so we've already been programmed in a sense to speak affirmations. That's all they are. It's just affirming how something feels, how affirming how, you know, just what's going on in life. Um, and you know, negative affirmations, things like, you know, I'm sick, I'm unhappy, uh, um, I'm broke, things like that, you know, those can really like strain on your energy just on how you move through life and you know, what you attract to. You. Even um, lead to like more negative more things negative in your things, life, yeah. a negative environment, friendships, relationships. Yep. And um, it just really produces a negative environment for you. Um, whereas, you know, positive affirmations, things like I'm happy, I'm loved, you know, I'm wealthy, things like that, even if you're not already in that, like, in that physical place in life, if you still, you know, speak those and feel that, uh, you know, it'll manifest a better life for you. It'll manifest a better reality around you, you know. You might, you know, speaking that, speaking just positive affirmations for a week, you may get another job, you may get another job offer, you know, you may find a girlfriend or boyfriend that you've been looking for for a long time. So just little things like speaking and feeling positive um, and thinking positive, um, play a big role in the reality we have around us. Like Justin has right here, like think, believe, yes. feel, and then he has like visualize. It's a little thing I wrote up before the video. That's like definitely like you have to think it, you have to believe it, and you have to feel like that's yeah. happening to you. That's the holy trinity. You know, a lot of people will be like, oh, I'm going to think something into existence or I'm going to speak it or, you know, so much more. You have to, you know, first you got to think that that's the first thing that comes in. You know, you got to think positive. Mm -hmm. Then you got to feel it. You really got to, you know, hold on to that feeling that, you know something good is gonna happen and even like put yourself in that yeah, situation exactly. like justin all he wants a bentley like that's his thing that's my thing he Eventually, literally I will envision himself yeah. driving that bentley like whipping corners like in the car like mm. the color everything like, he corners. can feel it yeah. smell it like that's the thing so you know and that's where the the feeling comes into play that's that visualization you know no matter what you're doing if you're driving an old 98 honda down the road but one day you want to be driving that Corvette. When you're driving that Honda, just envision yourself driving that Corvette. Just envision, you know, smell the leather, feel those corners. Like, like that wheel. Just feel it. You know, that's that's where affirmations are very powerful. Because even if you're not living in that physical, you know, realm or whatever in your reality at that very moment, you can think about it. And by thinking it, you know, feeling it and speaking on it, you'll manifest that. You'll, you'll you know, call it upon you. Because, um, you know, that's something that's very deep too. And we'll get into that maybe in later videos. But, you know, the universe is alive. And... That's where speaking, thinking, and feeling positive, you know, it calls on that universe to bring you what you want. Yeah. Um, yeah, so basically, um, you know, we've been dealing with affirmations and, you know, manifestation for a couple years now. Um, well, actually, Justin brought it into my life, like, two years ago. Like, and I was doing it wrong. Like, he, like, sat me down and, like, taught me what to say, like, what I needed, how to word it. Because wording it really is a big thing, a big too. Thing, yeah. And Justin, he really brought that into my life which I'm grateful for. Yeah, and playing off that, like there's a lot of people that know, they try to make affirmation boards and that's a positive first step, at least yeah. like getting to try and understand and things like that. But I feel like a lot of people really, um, they're really, uh, fuck, my tongue is twisted. They really um, make it harder on themselves. They they make it real difficult. You know, instead of saying things like, I am happy, they'll say like, I want a girlfriend, I want this, I want, you can't really, you just have to give it a big picture. It's like so specific, yeah. like. The devil's in the details. Yes. When, you, when you play on those details on time, when, where, how, things like that, you, you cause yourself to get really caught up in those details. It can be stressful, scary. Um, yeah. So if you just focus on that end game, that's what'll help you, you know, stay focused as opposed to, you know, getting caught up on those details. You know, you're you're trying to make, you know, a thousand dollars in a couple weeks, 
those couple weeks come over and you haven't made that thousand yet, you're going to be discouraged. Whereas if you would have just stayed going for another week or two, you could have had that thousand. So, like I said, uh, getting that thousand in a week, I am going to get that thousand. Doesn't matter when, doesn't yeah. matter how, you're just getting that thousand. Yep, that's all that matters. And that's where, you know, details definitely when you're using affirmations and um, doing things like that, don't get caught up in the details. Um, and play, or going off of that, like we've made these boards behind us. Um, these are something that I've done for a while. Um, you know, when I moved to Ohio from Texas, that's a big thing that, you know, I had to play off as affirmations because I really didn't have a lot of friends or okay, close I don't family. Wanna so cut him off. But when I first met him, like what attracted me so much to him was he had these all over his house Everywhere. like a huge whiteboard filled with it then he, i think you had like another little one too yeah. they were everywhere and yeah. it just said i am gonna make a thousand whatever ten thousand thousand dollars mm -hmm. i am i am healthy wealthy. i am loved yeah. i am wealthy it's just simple all over his house yeah. And just putting that energy everywhere, you know, in your living space, wherever it can be, you know, sticky notes, it can be whiteboards like or boards like we have poster board, whiteboards, anywhere you want to put them, bathrooms, you know, your room, your kitchen. Yeah, like just for so, girls. Yeah, just so um, you see that, you know, I've, uh, you know, I've used to see like movies and stuff like girls would write shit on their mirrors with lipstick and shit. Even if you want to do that, make it your own thing. Like, I've never done that. <laughs> just make it your own thing. Um, and that's what we've done with our boards back here. Um, yeah, here, I'll take this shit down. I'll show you mine. So basically, this is just kind of an example of what I've been working with. This is like one of probably 30, 40 I've made, but you know, it's just simple. You know, I have things like, uh, let's so see what We'll I take a better picture of this and insert it in here so you can like see it better. Yeah, and you can make it your own too. You don't have to copy what I say. This is just an example of, you know, just what to play off. You know, so I have things like, you know, I am powerful, I am influential, I am blessed, I am healthy, I'm successful, I'm wealthy, I'm happy, I'm loved, I'm intelligent. Then I have a bunch of other stuff. Um, this one I actually got from Gucci Man on Twitter, very intelligent man. Um, but yeah, so I just have things on here that... Read them this one. Uh, you've said this okay. for a minute. So this one, let's see what it says. It says, I will overcome every obstacle, I will outlast every adversity, the universe has shifted in my favor, what was meant for harm, God has made my advantage. So actually, this is the one that I saw on Gucci Man's Twitter. And oh, it that actually, was yeah, it was actually on his Twitter. So it's just very, like, um, powerful. And saying that, you know, you're just, you're affirming that you, you'll overcome everything, no matter what you face, any adversities, anything. And that's with all of this, you know. Um, even if I'm not feeling, you know, the happiest at the moment. As long as I affirm that and I keep that belief and that faith and just feel it and think it, it'll all work out. It doesn't matter, you know. There's, you know, no one can be happy just infinitely. This is life. You know, every single day. There's every always going to be something that hits you. There's always going to be obstacles. There's always going to be adversities. But if you face it with these thoughts in your head, it'll be so much easier. Um, you know, like going back to when. I was talking about how we've been programmed for affirmations when you, you know, you feel sick and we put this down when you uh, when you feel sick and then you go to your parents, you go to your friends, family, girlfriend, whatever. And you say, I'm sick. You know, you start to feel worse. You, you don't feel as good. You, you know, it almost makes the sickness worse when you keep affirming that, you know, you might be yeah. sick for weeks and on in. But when you're sick and if you say things like I'm healthy, I'm happy and you get out there and you go outside in nature, you hang out with friends, you do things your sickness will go away in a couple of days. You know, so that's kind of the same thing. When you are going through an obstacle, an adversity, something like that, or facing adversities, if you have, you know, negative thoughts that are full in your mind, it's gonna make that, that obstacle so much harder than when you faced it with positive thoughts and a positive mind. Um, yeah, so that's, I mean, you wanna show your board? Yeah. You can just nice. talk about yours and show them what you, just from a female perspective. Yeah, cause mine's more about like, my weight and healthy and stuff like that and i put pictures on mine because oh, sorry I'm your face because i'm such like a picture for, like i'm such a visual learner like i want to like good job like job opportunity like i want to travel like you know what something weird is i've always wanted to travel and when i met justin when i started doing these boards and like thinking really positive and just putting positive energy into it you know, we're going to Costa Rica in January. I've never been out of the country. I just got my passport. Like, that's amazing to me. And I don't think if Justin was in my life where I was thinking that good, that that would happen. Also, when we were in Ohio and I was working, I got a brand new 2017 Jeep Patriot. Like, I never thought that was gonna happen. Like, I did that by myself working like super hard. Like, 
I don't, it's like almost crazy to me. You can basically see back that like you've manifested this. It's almost like cool, kind of like a witch. Like you did this, you conjured this up. Um, but some of the stuff I put on mine is the universe is forever working in my favor. The universe provides all the tools I need to succeed. I'm healthy, I'm strong, I'm love, I'm wealthy, I'm powerful, I'm patient, I am change. I am proud of myself and what I achieve. I will achieve my goals. I will create a life of abundance. All that I have earned will come to me. Um, the worst things that happen to me are the best things that could happen to me. And I don't mean that as in like, I want something bad to happen in my life or anything like that or anyone else's life, but all the troubles that I've been through in my life through the years, like with my parents, stuff like that, friendships, that's like just letting helped. you go a better life yeah, yeah. no seriously like yeah. it makes me realize that like if i didn't go through that i wouldn't be where i was mm -hmm. if i didn't go through that hurt it wouldn't have like built me up to like think like this or do the stuff that i'm yeah. doing if that makes sense yeah. very true and that's another thing you know whenever um something bad happens in our lives most people jump to the conclusion of like my life sucks like yeah. everything is going to shit or you know, just why I, is this happening? Yeah, to me? like I'm unlucky or you know, fuck the world type shit. But yeah. that's the thing, you can't think like that because most of the time your blessing will usually hide on the other side of that that bad thing that's happening. It's just a test from the universe yep. to see blessing you know test your faith pretty much. Um so that's the thing, you just gotta stay positive and that's why these affirmation boards help and that's why, you know, daily affirmations help. Um another thing that's really helpful when you're doing affirmations, um, you know, if you get a board, a whiteboard, whatever it's usually um, very powerful to like look in the mirror while you're saying these um, because it plays a huge role in your subconscious mind which is basically you know the part of the mind that you know you don't really use it's the, the part of the mind that like you know makes your lungs breathe your heartbeat stuff like that um, but it's very powerful it's something that you know that's where your dreams are that's where your deepest desires are so when you can implant positive thoughts into your subconscious there comes a point where you don't even have to think positive anymore your subconscious mind is already so positive that you're just resonating that that positive energy. Oh yeah, talk to them about um, um, how like a TV, when you go to sleep, the TV. Oh yeah, so that's another thing. So my friend, um, Kyle Dean, one of my close friends, we were talking the other day and he had a very valid point and a very powerful point. Um, he was talking to me about how, you know, people go to sleep with their TVs on. Um, and most times it's something, you know, it could be scary. Or, Criminal mind. Yeah, just, and if you've ever noticed that when you go to sleep, usually your dreams kind of line up with what you're watching. You know, if you're watching something scary, you're going to have a bad dream. If you're watching a murder yep. show, you might get killed. And you're, you know, just, they really play off of that. And that's your subconscious mind. So he had a, um, a very cool point to start sleeping with affirmations on. You know, you can go to YouTube on here yeah. and um, just type in affirmations while I sleep. There's like eight, nine hour videos. And you know, it's just affirmations. And yeah. it's, it's to play why you're going to sleep because what happens is, you know, your conscious mind turns off when you go to sleep. Um, your subconscious mind kind of takes over and you know, it breathes for you, it thinks, it does whatever it needs to do. So when you're playing those affirmations on the TV while you're sleeping, you know, saying things like, I am healthy, I am powerful, I am blessed with abundance, things like that, it, it correlates with your subconscious mind and you really start to think that even when you're asleep. Yeah. Um, and it comes to, you know, your, your conscious mind you know, you'll, you'll notice you'll stop being so stressed and depressed and things like that after, and you have to give it time. That's the thing you have to, you know, you can't do affirmations and, you know, think it's going to be okay in a week. That kind of goes back to where yeah, um, we're talking about time. Past. Yeah. You can't put time to it. You just got to let it go and just feel good. Um, and in doing so, you know, you'll manifest and your reality around you will get so much better. Um, also like, you know, meditating, Yes. Really, like, helps really that. Really helps with that. Um, when you, you know, when you do affirmations, um, it is hard. It can be hard. The first, you know, week, two, just getting into it. My yeah. thing is a bunch of bullshit and witchcraft. And like, this is never going to work. Yeah. But that's the thing. You're human, so you will have doubts. So don't be hard on yourself yeah. when you're like, oh, like, why do I suck? Like, why isn't this working for me? Give yourself time. Like, just, you know, like I said, don't put that time. Do it. And do things like meditation. Start being more mindful of yourself, of your thoughts, of everything. Um, cause once you start being mindful of like why you're having bad thoughts, you can eliminate that, that thing and start putting more positive energy into your mind. So, you know, you might be stressed about whatever. It could be something as stupid as, you know, not being able to eat dinner because you're at work. Yeah. But if you can take that negativity out by eating a snack at work or just something, then you can take that stress out of your life and put some positive energy. Yeah, just put a pie. It doesn't matter what it yeah. is, a positive, like, 
okay, you were late for work, but you got a tip of $50 yeah. today. That, that's a fucking plus. You got to see like six puppies on the way to work. Just anything. It's Start Something small. Yeah, just just replace that negative um, thought or energy or feelings with something positive. Yeah, replace you know? it. If you start feeling upset, you know, start thinking of everything you're thankful for, all the blessings in your life. Um, because life itself is a blessing. You know, even if you're homeless, whatever, um, you know, there's still blessings to be found inside of your life. Yeah. Um, so that's, I feel like even homeless people find little blessings. blessings. Oh, I found a quarter on the ground. There you is. know, they're there's, appreciative of that. Yeah, and there's so many more, you know, just being able to breathe, you know, that's a blessing. Um, so that's where, you know, meditation comes into play. Just being mindful of everything that you that you have to offer um, and all that, you know. It's good to, like, work out, you know, feel good. Yeah, um, go for a walk yeah. in the morning. Um, also, start doing things you like as well. When you're doing affirmations, it's good to do things you like to give yourself that you know self-love when you when you love yourself and that's part of being positive and everything when you give love to yourself by whatever if you want to sit on the couch and watch tv if that makes you happy and it makes you feel good sit on the couch you yeah. know if you love eating eat like just bring yourself love bring yourself happiness because but when also don't get crazy don't with get the crazy. eating because True. you know your body is your vessel and you True. want to put good stuff in yeah. your body because you know good eating it leads to good thinking if you're eating True. mcdonald's and filling yourself yeah. with crap you're going to feel like crap yeah. and then you're going to think negative because you're going to sit back and be like wow i'm yeah. disgusting yeah. that's great that just goes into like that's a whole other video about yeah. transfer of energy and how we're all energy but yeah basically you know that's another thing when you're when you're trying to be positive and have a healthy mind you really do got to be healthy in a sense you know yeah. if you are going to go eat that mcdonald's burger go walk go work out burn it off like do Drink things water. you know have a balance in life yeah um, yeah so life's, just what were you saying i would say life's all about balance <laughs> it really <Sorry. laughs> is it's all about balance so yeah just find things that you like to do and do them um that'll help you know manifest things because really the root of manifestation and affirmations is just thinking positive feeling positive and believing yeah. once you do all that i'm telling you your life will start to change you know what's that one saying like think believe receive i yeah, think another one yeah, kind of like a, that and there's a bunch of documentaries on netflix like i think a big one that people have seen is like the secret um oh, yeah. you know and it basically just talks about how you think um you know thinking produces your reality around you you know like there's a there's an example on there where it talks about like credit card debt you know, if you have credit card debt or any debt in that instance, if you're thinking about how much debt you have and you're like stressed out by that debt, or even if you're thinking about getting out of the debt and like, you know, some people be like, well, I'm thinking about how to get out of my debt. So I'm thinking positive. You're still thinking about the debt, which is going to call upon more debt to you. So instead of thinking like, you know, I'm going to get out of this debt, like I'm going to do good. Think that you already have that wealth to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Don't even think, don't even put that debt in your mind. Like you Just, don't even have debt. Yeah. What you're wealthy. Debt? You're wealthy. That's you're all you got to wealthy. Think. Yeah. That doesn't mean go, go splurge spend and spend a bunch yeah. of money. Obviously, be a little yeah. crucial, but you know, think that you know I'm not in debt. Like I don't have to live scared yeah, or just, anything like yeah. that. And that's the thing. Don't put that word in your mind. You know, don't think about debt. Don't. You're wealthy. That's it. That's the bottom line. You don't don't get caught up in the details. Yeah. You know, I've asked people like you know, are you wealthy? And they're like, no. Like I don't have this money. Like I don't have this car. Screw that. Like you don't. That's not what wealth is, you know. I think yeah. it was like ASAP Rock who famously said, like, wealth is in the mind, not the pocket. So, like, wealth really does start in your mind. Like, you know, a wealthy mind will manifest the world around it. It's just yeah. it's how it is. Oh, um, also, um, talk to them about how, you know, writing the I will and I am and, yeah. like, how powerful the will and yeah. the am is. So, basically, you know, for all my religious people out there, even the ones that aren't, um, you know, when you say I am, you know, in religion, God famously says, you know, um, I forget who asked him, but he says, you know, he says, who are you? He says, I am, you know, whatever. Um, so I am is just a very strong thing. It correlates with like your subconscious mind. It, it correlates with like who you are. Like I am. When someone says like, what's your name? I am Justin. Like that's just, it just really correlates. And I am is a very powerful saying by itself. Like that just you know it's that's an affirmation so when you say like instead of being like um i want to do tattoos all over the world be like i am an amazing tattoo artist, artist. you know what i'm saying because you're or, already putting that you are you already are that you already there's are. no yeah and that's the thing that's where like you know time kind of gets into that but that's another thing too but you know just saying i am allows something to come to your life when you yep. say i am at least you're giving it the opportunity to manifest and it most likely will when you put that positive thought and positive feeling to it um, so I am is a very big thing, but also I will, 
um, you know, like on my poster, I said, I will overcome every obstacle, things like that. When you say I will, you know, will to do something is very powerful. You know, when someone wills to overcome, let's say someone gets diagnosed with cancer. And if you, I think I've heard all like research and doctors, they say like a person's attitude when they get diagnosed with something like that, tells their, how their outcome is gonna be. You know, because that's their will. And when someone's will to live is very powerful, you know what I'm saying? When someone's will to become a millionaire is very powerful, they'll be a millionaire. Like, it's just those women who get breast cancer, you know, go on those breast cancer walks and they're like, I'm a five year, I'm an eight year survivor. Like, but they're so happy and taking care of their body. Like they're like, I'm fuck cancer. I'm beating it. Like I am healthy. Like all the Susan G. Coleman stuff, like all those women who goes on those, not rallies, but walks, they always are so positive and so happy and like so i'm gonna get through this i'm strong yeah. so like i really feel like that like correlates into it a little bit it does and that's you know back to those words i am is probably i used to write on my poster words like i will a lot i will be wealthy i will be powerful but i started to realize you know it's not as powerful as saying i am because you want yeah. to say i will be happy that kind of gives room for that doubt to come in of like oh am i not happy now but if you state that fact that I am happy now or I am okay or I am blessed, it almost like eliminates any or any like room for any negative negativity to come through. It's kind of like putting yourself in the present, past, yeah. and future. Like you, yeah. you are that. Yeah, it kind of puts you in that driver's seat. Because you know when you say I will, you're like a passenger. When you say I am, you're that driver. You're yeah. controlling that car. So um, yeah, just... Just really focus when you're doing affirmations on that positive energy. And putting um, such like good energy yeah. into it. Like you know you're gonna do something so great in this world. Just like feel it and like let yeah. it flow through you. And I believe strongly, you know, in manifestation and the fact that like, you know, what we think we manifest into our life. So the fact that if, if you're watching this, then you've already like either thought about manifestation or thought about changing your life yeah. or how to be positive. So you know what I mean? So the fact that if you're watching this, um, you're already on that step to be defining more because truth. Because you're trying finding, to dig a little deeper. Exactly. And don't just stop at us because there is, I mean, we still have a lot to learn ourselves. We're very young. So, yeah. but you know, I wanted to make this video. We wanted to make this video because we want to help, you know, especially our um, generation. Generation, people. yeah. Um, because, you know, we're very young and I feel like we're getting a lot of information thrown at us and we can get very confused in that. Um, well, and also, I feel like nowadays it's about like fast money. Like, yeah. How can I put something up to get money? How yeah. can I do this to get money? Like, it'll come. Yeah. Like, slow down. And especially um, when you're doing affirmations and, you know, trying to be positive, um, I'm not going to say, like, go ahead and just delete Twitter and social media, but I would definitely try to, like, be mindful of that because yeah. nowadays when you're trying to be positive and you're focused on that goal of, like, you know, I'm going to be successful. Don't Like I said, don't put that time. But when you say, I'm going to be successful... And then you see like Kylie Jenner just bought a new Lamborghini and she's 21 or whatever the age she is or, you know, bad baby. Like, you know, you see all this, all these young kids succeeding and you're like, oh my God, like, am I, am I, what's up wrong, wrong with me? Like, am I doing okay? Yeah. You know, that can really discourage you. That can cause you to start having self doubts. Um, so don't try to stay away from that stuff because it really is kind of cancerous to the positivity. Um, Hold on. Even like for like girls too and Justin he can tell you right now I did I've done a really bad job of this to the point of I stopped getting on my social media I didn't get rid of it I just logged off and had been back on on my snapchat my Instagram or anything like that because when I get on I do this thing where I compare myself to other girls and I'm like okay well why don't I look at that or why does she have the confidence to do that or like why oh she can wear that and like I can't I need to lose 10 more pounds if I want to have that body yeah. but in all reality one that's not her natural body that's not what she actually looks like and I'm literally putting so much negativity in myself and making myself feel bad that it's it's only hurting me it's only causing me to hurt and me to gain weight and me to feel shitty it's not hurting Kylie Jenner she's doing great so you know i really think if you're not in that really good positive mind frame right now i think you know starting off by deleting snapchat if you post pictures of yourself every single day start by snapchat or start by post one video a day of yourself post you know don't you don't have to continuously you're not in competition with anybody you don't need to do that yeah and I feel like it's really hard, especially for women in the world, because yeah. this is like a man's world. And like, you know, 
I know women will say like, oh, I'm not putting on this makeup for a man or anything like that. I'm doing it for myself. But subconsciously you are because, you know, thousands of years ago, women didn't have to do that. Like, it's just been kind of like well, instilled. When you want to get noticed, yeah, you, you want to feel pretty. good. Yeah. And the thing is, as a woman, being born a woman, you're already beautiful. Like, you literally can carry life within you. So, like, no matter what any man has ever said to you or how you feel, you are beautiful. Like, in the essence of life, you're beautiful. You're a fucking so, creator. You're literally a creator of life. So, you know, as a woman... You know, I understand that it probably is much harder in this life to think positive than it is for a man. Yeah. But the thing is, like, it's also easier because once you realize how powerful you are, you know, women are already blessed with, like, intuition and that feminine divine energy. So once you can, like, subdue the neg negative, like, thoughts that society has put on you and start really embracing your feminine energy, you can manifest something faster than a man. I yeah, think ain't nobody gonna stop you. Fa way faster than a man. That's why, like, you know, I think men are kind of scared of women when it comes to that spiritual sense because like women are very powerful women if they really knew their true power they could be the millionaires and business people of this world because they are extremely powerful um we just put ourselves down so much yeah. and let other people put us down that like yeah. at this point it's about who's pretty who's this and that it doesn't, none yeah. of that matters you're it shouldn't matter at all women are extremely powerful um, you know, not just women, there's everybody watching this video is extremely powerful. You know, being a, a human makes you extremely powerful. Um, yeah, so she's going to grab some books. These are basically books that, um, we have read and have taught us about like mindfulness and manifestation and just other things about like energy, because, you know, as I said, that we'll make plenty other videos about deep stuff like this. Not even deep. It's, it's real. It's reality. That's, this is the life we live. Um, and we are all energy. We are the essence of energy um, in physical form. Um, so, you know, that's where positive and negativity come from. It's just energy. It's how we process things. But these books, you know, teach you that, you know, just how to kind of harness that energy and, you know. Okay. So I bought a couple. It's not all of our books, but I bought, brought a few. Do you want to go first and tell? Because I feel like these ones. Will yeah. Like so these. Do. Did you read this one? Um. No, I actually saw this on one of my people's Snapchat in Texas. Okay. I haven't read it yet, but um. No. So these are three of my favorite books that I've had so far. This one is, you see that Modern Magic, very cool. It has a bunch of like um, mantras and affirmations in there that just um, you know, help people. Um, you know, it talks about putting um, what's it called? Your shit. I can't think right now. You know, just putting good intent into things. Basically, you know, if you're going to do something, do it with good intent, you know. Because I feel like a lot of people nowadays, they do things with their own selfish intent. Um, you know, not to call people out, but you'll see people like feed the homeless, but then they'll record that. They'll record. So it's kind of like a, a selfish intent. Like their intent is not to like feed that homeless person and like help them out. It's to try to get noticed. So, yeah. you know, you can kind of see people's intentions just by how they move and how they, how they use their um, energy. So talks about like your intent just how to use your mind things like that um also have this book it's called the art of zen and happiness or zen's the art of happiness something like that um very powerful book as well it talks about just once again like how to be happy in reality you know how to not let negativity get in the way of you and your dreams and desires things like that um that's probably one of my favorite books i've read and this one is actually very special to me it's called the yogi science of breath i actually haven't finished this yet um but I was on Xanax for a while just because of anxiety getting them from the streets um, for like three months. And I had a seizure because I decided to stop cold turkey. Um, very scary. Because you shouldn't be taking I shouldn't, them. Yeah, and don't, they, yeah. don't get into that. We'll talk another video on that too. But yeah, so after my seizure, I walked into a smoke shop to get some CBD to try to help my anxiety. And I met a friend there. His name was Ragas. And he gave me this book. He had been on kidney dialysis since he was like eight. Um... He said he probably, he, when he was eight, his doctors told him he wasn't even supposed to live till like, I think he said 15 or something like that. But now he's like 45. Um, and he gave me this book, reached in his back pocket because I told him I had a bad anxiety and he pulled it out. Um, and basically, this book teaches about the art of like breathing. Basically says that, you know, us, most people in modern society don't know how to breathe correct. We breathe through our mouths, um, which causes ailments, causes disease, anxiety, stress, because our mouth, you're not supposed to breathe through your mouth, you know. We have a nose for a reason, it acts as a filter. Um, nose hairs. Things like that. And um, so your nose is supposed to pretty much regulate how much air you take in. 
um, things like that. So, you know, if you breathe through your mouth, you could hyperventilate. You could, you know, just cause sicknesses that, you know, things get in your You're lungs. You're inhaling, like, so much bacteria yeah. and stuff. Exactly. So this book basically just teaches you how to breathe. And, you know, I've read pretty much halfway through just, you know, some of the techniques. And I can honestly say, like, just reading books like this and practicing the um, just the techniques and just eating healthy, I don't have any. I have a little bit of anxiety, but nothing like I used to have. I mean, I used yeah. to get tremors. Um, like, had blackouts like it was bad but you know just practicing my breathing and eating healthy and being very mindful it's all went away um, my last book is this one actually I haven't read this at all it's called escape your own prison which I'm guessing is once again just about how you think um, you know just the actions you take in life and things like that but that'll be a book that I read here pretty soon um, yeah so those are my books that I have um, okay so I have one book because this is literally my favorite book I've read I've read it twice and I love it it's called the power of karma how to understand your past and shape your future and how to shape your future and it's it hits so many different points um, on how karma can affect you from your past and your future how you know, if your dad's a really bad or your grandfather was a really bad alcoholic and now you have that desire or that yearn to drink, it's probably like coming from that. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? And like, once again, that kind of correlates with like how energy is transferred. You yeah. know, we were talking about eating bad earlier and you know, when a, when a cow dies at one of these big farms, it's usually stressed and scared. So, yeah. you know, that energy has to go through somewhere. It has to come back to you. You're the consumer. You're the one who eats that meat. So. Yeah that tainted meat has now become your problem to deal with. Same with karma, you know, like she said, if your dad or whoever was an alcoholic, maybe even yourself was an alcoholic in your past life, that energy is still trapped within yeah. you. It's still being passed down. So that's where karma comes into play. And also like she just hits on other little stuff on like, um, so basically if you came across a homeless person and you, they needed money or they wanted something and you had the choice to go out of your way and give them a dollar or help them or a few quarters or you look at them laugh and drive away that's like putting change into your karmic bank um think of like a karmic bank as if you do something bad a bad coin goes in so something bad happens to you you do something good something good happens back so you have the choice to help that person but you decided not to so think of it as like months down the road you're in need of help and you know what you're shit out of luck and nobody helps you maybe it was because you know you decided somewhere along your road that you didn't feel the need to like give as much compassion or positivity into something that you should have so this book it hits on a whole bunch of different yeah. stuff spiritual growth discover your secrets of past lives just a whole bunch of good stuff yeah. i think that's it for my that's book it. Yeah, so that, I mean, that's pretty much all we have for y'all and, you know, just kind of hitting or ending it. Um, yeah, so just when you, I, I strongly recommend y'all, you know, make like an affirmation board. Um, yeah. It could be on, like I said, it could be on a poster like we did. Get a whiteboard at Walmart for like $10. Put it in your kitchen. Put it somewhere you see it, in the bathroom, maybe in your car. Um, just wherever you see it. You know, I actually have another affirmation board that's hanging above my bed um, or our bed. So every day that I wake up, that's the first thing I see. Pretty much is the same thing on that, you know, just I will be wealthy, all that type of stuff. Um, so, you know, it, that once again, it just plays on my subconscious. Um, so, yeah, so I strongly recommend that because um, you will be powerful and you are powerful. Oh, one more thing for y'all. I'm really not, if you're visual, I'm really not kidding. Sometimes writing just doesn't do it for me. I have to see it. So I print pictures out that say I can and I will. YouTube because baby mama wants to be a star. Yeah, and that goes back into look, our feel is visualization. Yep. So when you feel something, if you can, this this is a good, I'm glad she went and got those because when you make your affirmation board, put something up there like on, I have some of my room. I keep saying my room, our room. I'm just, our room, I live yeah, here too. Sorry, yeah, she, <laughs> um, but yeah, so in my, there are going, in our room, I have, I think it's cause I'm trying to say like my pictures and mm -hmm. I'm just correlating it with mine. But anyways, yes. Yeah, so I have pictures of like um, bank statements that a I have Bentley? like a Bentley, um, a private jet. Um, I think I have like Italy in there. Um, you know he's already been. Don't mean to toot my own dick. But I anything. think he manifested that because he wanted to travel. I love and... traveling. But yeah, so I have those in there. 
And basically that's another, it just helps visualize. So when I'm saying like, I am powerful, I am what, when I see those images and correlates with the words, it kind of puts that into my head even that much more. But like, you know, on one of the bank statements, like if, let's say if one of your affirmations is like, I am wealthy, um, you know, get a bank statement off of anywhere. You can go on Google and type in like million dollar bank statements yeah. and there's something to pop up and just, you know, scratch out the person's name at the top or whatever you need to scratch out and write your name. And you know, every day you look at that, just feel that, like feel it, almost like close your eyes and just imagine you counting that money. Maybe imagine even you, imagine a ding that on your yeah. Chase account. It you, says like deposited a hundred thousand. Yeah. Just feel it. And um, you know, that's, and like I said, this is gonna, it's, it's hard, but you can accomplish it. Like you definitely can. You're very powerful as a human being to reprogram your thoughts. But you can um, and you will. You will, you will, yes you will. Um, so yeah, just, I really do recommend this. Um, if anybody has any questions, you know, I know we're still new to this, but y'all can definitely ask questions in the comments and we'll get yes, back with you. Yes, seriously. Because um, I definitely want to help people. That's that's something I've always wanted to do and I know she does. So um, any questions? I, I know we've kind of went through this kind of fast, but I hope there's some information that we've given y'all that can help y'all better understand affirmations Just and manifestation. And we'll definitely be back for sure. We'll be yeah, back with a lot more videos. Yeah, because I think maybe our next video will probably be more on like manifestation Manifestation, yeah and we'll go deeper into this too just because kind of, they yeah. piggyback off of each other you know affirmations you know it's pretty much hand in hand because yeah. affirmations manifest things so you know exactly so yeah that's our video guys i hope that helped you thank you thank you see y'all later